Today, we will be doing the passenger side motor mount bracket. Yes, bracket and mount. We're going to have to modify the aluminum arm. We're going to have to create a custom mount bracket on the E36 subframe and adapt it. So we have the engine in its position that we want it to be. We just need to put the mount on the underside of the bracket and then install the bracket, uh, the body side bracket underneath that mount and weld in place. It will be featured in my write-up uh, in terms of detailed uh, drawings and design so that it can be recreated and welded in a specific location. Before we do anything, we got to make sure that the engine position is set with the correct transmission mounts. Right now, there's just stock rubber mounts from the E90. Um, we're going to be putting these E30 Garagistic uh, ADA poly mounts in. And the reason that we're doing this now is because you know, the, the rubber bushings are uh, older, they're used, and they also settle, they're softer generally. So I want to put something stiffer in there, something that I know is not going to move, and that's really going to dictate where the position is, so that it's going to help me to define where the driver and passenger engine mount brackets are going to go. This is a very unique mounting position. Why? Because we got twin turbos on the passenger side. Those turbos take up room. And as a result, the engine bracket on the passenger side is mounted a lot lower. And that directly interferes with the position of our mount. So this is not plug and play. Um, this is not use X bracket or Y bracket or X mount. It is, um, we are going to just stick with the stock N54 mount. We're just going to adapt the subframe to fit that arm and I don't want to move it. It is where it is. This is the existing location of the bracket on the subframe. So this is going to end up getting cut off. This will end up getting a plate welded underneath right on top of the control arm. I'll make sure that the wheel articulates up and down as to make sure that in all, uh, in the, uh, the complete range of motion of the right front wheel that there is no uh, interference. That won't be too difficult to do and I think that uh, I have enough play. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna remove the control arm, then we're gonna cut this mount off, and then we're gonna start fabbing our bracket that'll end up getting welded directly to the subframe. Just cut, taking that mount out there. As you can see, we got the room that we need now in order to weld something up down here, put the mount right there, and still not violate or touch the lower control arm. Puppies of the Garagistic E30 mounts. It's basically a stock E30 mount, stock height, stock uh, diameter. I'm using them for the swap because they are relatively low profile and they will um, be able to handle the horsepower without a problem. Um, they'll be nice and sturdy. And uh, they look good. I mean, you can see the how the uh, they, it looks like they CNC'd uh, the end here. So it's a uh, really nice, straight, and, and very true. So uh, the problem is, is that this bracket here has a couple of notches on it. You can see these these little notches here. It prevents this from mounting flush on the bottom of the of the bracket. So I'm just going to grind some of this down, straighten this out. Then we'll have a good spot to put our mount up on here, and uh, and then we can uh, locate where the bracket will end up being and start uh, fabbing that. This guy's gonna be sitting pretty now. I'm gonna a quick test of this guy. Putting the bolt through. Looks like we're right about there. I'm gonna put the nut on just to hold it in place. And after putting the control arm back on, you see I got plenty of room to work with. There you go. Mount in position. I can fit my finger underneath the bolt. This will all be cleaned up. This lip will be removed right here. This lip will probably be um, flattened and uh, shaven. But yeah, if I just don't touch anything with the length of the bolt and I use that as my benchmark and I just don't violate anything below that, I should have plenty of room for this uh, control arm to articulate up and down and do its thing. So 
So as you can see, we are good. Uh, not much, uh, not much action there uh, on the right wheel. So next step is to grind that surface at the end of the subframe nice and flat or nice and clean, whatever you want to do. And then that'll allow a really good solid mounting surface for our bracket so we can tack it up and we can kind of fit it up right up to the bottom of the, the mount itself. Okay, now that we've ground down the entire side section of the subframe, we need to know exactly where we want to mount our bracket. I haven't fabricated the bracket yet, but I will, and there will be a lot of trial and error in fitting and testing and grinding and fitting and testing and grinding and fitting, and it'll take a while, but when it's done, we'll know that it fits perfectly and it has enough surface area and the bracing is adequate in order to hold the weight. So I'm using somewhat of a straight edge here. This is just a bracket that I'm using for straight edge. This is not the bracket that I'm gonna end up using final. I'm basically I'm putting it on the, I'm fitting it to the bottom edge of the uh, mount and I'm just drawing a, a line across. All right guys, I'm burnt out tonight. I am done, I'm tired, and now I'm going to take a rest and think about what I have done. And tomorrow, I'll come back with a fresh start, make that bracket, finish that passenger mount, and we will move on to the next. New day, fresh start. Let's get this bracket made, huh? Two by three by five thirty seconds thick, 964-ish. Um, that is what I'm planning to use. It's already got the channel built in and I'm going to fab this up and throw it on the subframe and see how it sits. All right, let's see if I can do this right the first time. This is a little trick that I learned. This is the bracket here, and the idea is that it comes right up, butts up against that, nice and flat and straight. Now the problem is finding out where the hole needs to be drilled. Where does the hole need to be drilled for this guy? And I think I have a solution. So what's gonna happen is this bracket will get mounted right like that. Okay, it's basically, uh, jointed on both sides to handle the leverage. We gotta figure out where we're gonna end up drilling the hole. We don't know where the hole is gonna land. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to get type of, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get a little creative here. And I'm going to cover this with red ink. And I'm going to, I'm going to put that Just like that. Okay? Just like that. I'm gonna actually lift it up. Push it up. Let me push it up. I know this is a little tricky. Okay. So there it is. All right? I'm holding the, the screw. And I'm going to put this where it needs to go. And then drop the bolt. Drop the bolt. Okay. Now I should drop this and you'll see the red dot is right there. And that is exactly where I'm gonna drill. Now it's time for the moment of truth. This guy mounts up there. This guy mounts there. Just to get it th threaded.
this is just sitting exactly where I want it. I don't want to weld too much. I don't want to burn the poly. So I'm going to take the poly out, slide it right out. And then I'm going to start doing a couple of more strong tacks, and then this guy will be sitting on its own weight. This is what it looks like. Level, straight, strong. Gotta grind those welds down. I know they don't look very good. And there you go. Mount is on, bracket is welded on. I gotta weld it from up top as well. I haven't gotten up there yet, but I will after the engine's out. But this thing is strong, it's sitting on its own weight, other than of course the blocks here. But the blocks will be removed once I start getting the driver's side going, that's next. But for now, everything seems to be fitting really well. And the other exhaust header is gonna come just down like that. And I'm working on that next, so stand by. All right guys, that just about does it for the passenger side motor mount and bracket. If you liked what you see, like it, comment, hit the bell, let me know what you think. I wanna hear more, I wanna do more, and I need your help. Take it easy guys, later.